Well, for the first time in her history, Jane Abraham is running a store with one of her twin daughters. Yeah, not only is she making personal history selling real nice clothes, but she is making sure America is well dressed in its history about women. Crinkle joggers. Come on in to Scout and Molly's. And that's what I need. This dress has the mock neck. It sits right here in the Annapolis Town Center. It's named after two doggies. We want customers to feel like they're shopping in their best friend's closet. Well, this franchise fits Jane and her daughter Betsy like a size six dress. Every day you learn something new. But Jane is about to go from the dressing room to the history room. Frankly, we were asked, does this country need a women's history museum? Do we? Uh, we do. This nonprofit genius married to a former senator was handpicked to lead the charge to build a woman's history museum. Jamie, there are so many stories that our children just don't know about women. Like who's Sybil Luddington? Sybil Luddington did exactly the same thing that Paul Revere did, and she rode a little bit further than him and, and announced that, you know, the troops were coming. The outfits are coming. The outfits are coming by local designer Haley Smith. Where is the museum going to be? It needed to be on or near the mall. So from the mall to shopping at the town center, Jane has it covered from hat to toe. Comes to the knees, can be worn to events, be worn on date night. All my life, she's definitely included it in um, my upbringing, my education. So it's, it's been my whole life. See Jane work, see Jane make history. Grandma a mother and a daughter can all come in together and each leave with something special. And what makes this special is Lonnie Bunch, who got the African American Museum up and running finally. Mm -hmm. He picked this dream team with Jane. Billie Jean King is on this. Wonder Woman Linda Carter. She'll, she'll get it done in her, in her outfit. And also <laughs> Tori Birch. Oh, to keep it fashionable. And Jane feels that we are about a decade away from the Women's Museum of History opening to all on the, in the mall in the Smithsonian area.